Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be, again, between Machine and Dreamer. They're doing a... I think they did the best of five. I think in the first series, I don't know if Machine got two matches. I know we got one out of it, but Dreamer ended up winning three. I don't know what happened in game five. Bottom left hand corner, uh, we have Dreamer as the green Protoss. Bottom right hand corner, we have Machine. I'm going to keep this paused, though, initially to kind of give the map features. So another large base for the Terran. A little bit more of a classic natural expansion here. We do have a ramp blockading. One kind of odd feature is that it kind of that upward facing, which I haven't seen on a ton of maps, I don't think. I'm trying to puzzle it out in my brain. Ramp and kind of a, another side ramp where you can kind of get an army sandwiched in or defended. You can kind of set your tanks or dragoons or hydralisks, something on the high ground to deal with units coming in from there. But there is this kind of sneaky spot to sneak back through, but a little bit of a funnel there though as well for the mineral only. Nine o'clock base with a sizable ramp. What is that? Quadruple wide right there. And also an interesting feature on this map. You've got a Kakuru with five health. Middle of the map has this interesting double gas feature and just a handful of minerals, which if you're going cheesy, might be able to sneak that in a pinch and do something interesting with it. So we'll go ahead and dive into this. Go ahead and take off map reveal. This is, again, part of Team Think Quick and the tournament they're running. Half supported by Esports Fund, half supported by Team Think Quick. They do basically a series of show matches between top level foreigners. I believe, I believe DeWalt and Oxerg were paid for it. Scanic occasionally sneaks in there. Bottom right hand corner, Machine Media again as the Slate Gray Pro, uh, Zerg. Bottom left hand corner, Dreamer as the Green Protoss. And yeah. I think uh, the other thing I wanted to announce, again, if this is they're like, oh, what are these maps? What's going on here? In case this is the last match you're watching on YouTube, general announcement, I'm going to be just dumping all of the games I'm casting <laughs> from BSL Season 11 as I'm casting them, mostly to get to see BSL Season 12. And if people like that, I'll wait for the feedback. So we did, I don't know, what, a month, month and a half of a daily game. So now we're going to go ahead and swap and go back to just dumping everything at once, although I'll only alert on one. And I think that we'll see if this is the one I'll alert on or not. These three I'll alert, but we'll we'll go from there. And I'll just upload them all. Ah, I'll try it with this one. Upload three, whatever. Anyway, Dreamer sneaking in with the Probe Scout. This is going to be kind of the machine classic going for hatchery first on 11. Actually, is that a scout? Scout drawing off. I don't think Dreamer, I think that was a little bit of a fool, like wanted to see if Dreamer would pull off that drone scout, but Dreamer I think knows Machine's reputation has played against him enough on ladder that he knows that Machine is going to bring another drone off the line. Let's see if there's another drone committed to this. Actually blockading that with a pylon even. So this is going to force Machine to go ahead and build... Actually, what? Machine sneaking that... I like this. That's clever. Sneaking the hatchery at the 6. With that... I don't know if Dreamer's going to be fooled by this or not. Maybe he's got a sense of this, because he didn't see that spawning pool for a while. Swing back around, looking for the hatchery once again. Maybe he thinks Machine just dropped his keyboard or something like that. He's He definitely hasn't, actually. He, he's got that Nexus up. He's got the Forge going. He went Nexus before Forge. He's like, nope, I know you were, you've got an expansion someplace. Re-engaging. So he's got to assume that that 6 o'clock base is there. But the thing is, is this is going... Taking this base, that's a very aggressive base to take. Because that is close to your opponent, so Machine's going to have to, at least at some point in this match, get aggressive and play a little bit more containing against Dreamer. And Dreamer's doing a fantastic job of still... And I think this is a little bit of a bait from Machine. Because he didn't have the resources to go for a hatchery. Now he does. And plopping that down. And actually, I think he, what he's doing is like, okay, I'm just going to not build Zerglings forever. Sneak a couple drones and let you mess around with me here at the natural expansion for as long as you want to mess around with. And I'll let deny you information. You won't be har harassing my drones. And I don't have to produce any Zerglings. <laughs> Gateway plopping down. Cannons warping in. Yeah, again, because he was messing around with this hatchery, he didn't get a good look at Zergling counts coming at him. So this is a bit... Machine is still producing a handful of Zerglings, but he's only producing four rather than six, so not a full legitimate threat. So that cannon was almost unnecessary. Still, Dreamer went Nexus before everything else. And critically, Machine has zero information. So yeah, he has this hatchery here at 6. 
which actually is going to slow him down quite a bit because he's not going to be able to do the drone transfer to pop that economy up a little bit more rapidly. Oh, uh, and it looks like Dreamer is going to find it here, so he knows where it's at. I got to give a huge advantage. Honestly, Machine's early game looks very, very messy. And I'm almost wondering if we're going to see just even maybe a skip of... I almost wonder if we're going to skip Corsair Tech here. And just see straight gateway. Hydro Sten being plopped down there by Machine. So looking at 3 hatch Hydra currently. I assume he's going to... And is this going to be modified 973? So that's 6. Only one drone. We'll see if additional drones fill it out. Even if that is the case, it's going to come quite a bit later. There's a cybernetic score. Yeah, I don't see any machine diving in with that overlord to kind of get a look to see whether he's going to see that stargate. But I think Dreamer, yeah, getting level 1 weapons, he's like, nope, I know what you're up to. Go ahead and skip it. And producing a Dragoon as well. Interesting. Citadel of a Dune to follow this up. <clears throat> I wonder if this Dragoon is to go ahead and dive in and kill that overlord to put machine in the dark comparatively. Zergling still chasing that probe around. And yeah, I think this is going to be kind of a modified, a very modified 973 or 974. Although five drones being plopped down. So how do, what are we looking at here? So six drones right there. High now being produced, so six, yeah. And yeah, exactly that. Dragoon working on that overlord. Here's the thing though, this is fairly containable natural. Citadel of Dune is up. The Dragoon might... I don't think that we have any range on this Dragoon. But this is a, a pretty sizable attack force that Machine's plopping out. Getting additional hatchery now. To gather up. And with that Hydralisk range... Oh, he's going to bait this. So he's moving a single Hydralisk up. A small attack force of Hydralisks up. Keeping the rest of his army behind to see if he can bait some of these units out and then bring the Zerglings up to re-engage. Unfortunately, he didn't have all of his units really gathered, so Dreamer still thinks he's going to get the better part of this engagement. A lot of Zerglings being wiped out. And Machine not fully gathered. He is reinforcing with more Hydralis. Taking that cannon down, though. More cannons warping in. The Dragoon down now as well. Might be able to pick this cannon off on the low ground. Cancellation by Dreamer, and he's going to end up losing this gateway on top of everything else. So Machine positioning very, very well into this natural to deal, to take out a lot of this tech. I think Dreamer's... Well, we'll see. Is he going to be okay? These gateways came down a lot later than they usually would. Starting to produce units now. That Forge, critically, is he going to focus that Forge before level 1? Okay, Dreamer already canceled level 1 weapons. Cybernetic score might get taken out. Machine actually has a walkway if he wants to go ahead and dive into the, the main. Dreamer pulling probes off the line to try to deal with these Hydralisks now. And these hi just a handful of Hydralisks doing a lot of damage. Are more reinforcements coming across? It looks like Machine, rather than pressing this, honestly, I think he might have won. To just, if he had just reinforced with the rest of these Hydralisks. Instead, building his economy, getting some additional hatcheries down. And opting for a little bit of a longer game. But that Cybernetic score is down. Citadel of Dune is unpowered, so it's going to be a while before that Zealot Leg Speed kicks in. And this might force Dreamer into... That was a, yeah, that was a lot of damage on that front door. Critically losing level 1 weapons, delay on leg speed. I think Machine, actually I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this is wise on Machine's part. It's like, you know what, I got those wins, let me go ahead and back off. I've got a couple something colonies to work with, I'm just going to go ahead and saturate everything I got. Get a lot of gas, and again, this is more Machine style. Get that uh, Overlord speed and Aspire. Hmm, I actually like the Aspire play here. Because, ooh, critically. Two Forge plopping down. I think Machine's setting up to go ahead and do a tech switch. Zealots diving into the six. I think this is enough Zealots to take down those two sunk colonies. Might be able to get a lot of damage done there as well. Hydralis. Yeah, I'm going to take some time. Cancellation of that extractor. Oof. Misstep on Machine's part. Also lost an Overlord there, that Supply Captain. Drones blockading their own... Hydralisks, unfortunately. And might end up losing two hatcheries. Wow, a bit of sloppy pay from both players. Very uncharacteristic. And I'm wondering if this is just... Yeah. The map is good night, by the way. Should have mentioned that much earlier. But I'm going to say good night. Oof, to here. That was a big mistake. But, Machine still has a big window here. If he can muster some gas. And that's the big problem, is if he can muster some gas. 
loses this hatchery, and honestly, Dreamer might have just evened things up. So the Spire's finished, but Machine has no gas to speak of to do a tech switch into Mutalisks. Because he just had to peel out so many Hydalisks to defend the 6 o'clock. But honestly, if he did, this is all Zealots right here. This is nothing but Zealots. And a couple High Templar. If he was able to produce some Mutalisks, that would have won him the game. Honestly, if he can even get a, a, a small cadre of Mutalisks out, might be able to win him the game right here. Because there's no Corsairs in the air. Psystorm is still not upgraded. More Hydalisks grouping up on the front. These High Templar do not have Storm. These are completely just bait High Templar for Dreamer. A machine regrouping. This has been such an odd match thus far. I'm not sure that either player really knows what position they're in. Gas is mining. Machine kind of exploring out the rest of the map. And this is unfortunate. Okay, now getting a couple Mutalisks produced. A lot of gateways going down. I think Dreamer is just going all in gateway man now. I don't think I know. He's going all in gateway man now. And he's going to just do it with a raw amount of Zealots. Now here's the thing with Hydralisks. When you get right on top of them with Zealots, they die very rapidly. Machine taking another hatchery right now. And here's the thing with Mutalisks. Yeah, they attack Zealots, but are they going to be able to kill this huge amount of Zealots in time? Zealots can't attack back, but yeah, it's going to be scary. I think Machine feels like he was in the better position. Was concerned that Dreamer might have snuck a base out someplace. Mulus sneaking around. Wants to be able to pick off these High Templar. These High Templar are going to be very exposed. And Machine once again out of position to get, wow, to defend the six. But keep in mind, Dreamer is going for a steamroll here. He wants to just wipe out everything with... The army he has on the ground. Ooh. Nothing. Oh, Storm hitting a lot of the Mutalisks. Another Storm, but hitting a lot of the Zealots. And several High Templar getting wiped out to their own size Storm. A massacre. So the Mutalisks get wiped out, but that was all of the High Templar. And a good amount of shield peel on the Zealots. I think Ash... Oof, I, I feel like Dreamer just got caught off guard there. And did a little bit of a panic storm. Cycling back around. Another handful of Mutalisks right there. For Machine. Big win for him. Couple Lurkers morphing in. Or sorry, he doesn't. he's upgrading Lurker tech. This base, probably going to get wiped out before Machine's able to defend. Good two side storms there for Dreamer. Machine trying to split that army. Loses that hatchery. And Dreamer going to go ahead and exit with his army up the corner. And here's the thing. As long as he keeps his army cohesive like this, and these Hydralists end up split, Dreamer might be able to get the better part of these fights because he wants, if he can gauge right on top of these Hydralists. Although I think this is an overwhelming amount of Hydralists. We'll see. Yeah, I think Dreamer realizes it. Trying to back off. A single Mutalisks. A single Mutalisk up in the air. Dragoon's trying to fight. I think this is just way too many Hydralists. Machine... This is the machine you uh, you typically see. Yeah, with that overwhelming amount of macro here in the mid game. Re-engaging with the swarm and the zealots hightailing it back to home base. Now Dreamer trying to sneak a semblance of an army out because he's at risk of being contained. And Machine has full map control at this stage. Hunting that army down. Piecemeal size storm not catching a lot of hydralisks there. Desperately just trying to get them off before it dies. And when Hydralisks are charging into Zealots like this, that is not a good sign for the Protoss player. Dreamer GGing right there. Good play by Machine. Nice recovery after losing that 6. I almost felt like it was kind of a teeter-totter thing going on. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, gonna, yeah, just upload a smatter of these things. By the way, check out both these guys. They stream Machine USA on Twitch. Uh, I think it's Ash Dreamer underscore. Uh, if you ask me in my stream, I will let you know. Special thanks to everybody tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.